and independence registration is different this year. So me, Colin, and Hunter got together with the counselors and made a new video for y'all to learn all about it. Enjoy. Hey, Colin. Why'd you even call me in here? Well, you haven't turned in your schedule. It's about two, three months late. So, where is it? Well, I'm really busy, but I do have my schedule. It just might take me a second. It's in my backpack. Okay. Let's see it. It's not this thing. I didn't even use this. Papers from last year. Nope. Here it is. I'm going to 12th grade, by the way. I know you're surprised. Hmm. Well, it's uh, crumbled, and it's blank, and there's no, not even the name. So I can't take this. Why not? And okay. there's no parent signature. You kind of have to have that. Can we like fill that out together, maybe? No. Please go do it and bring it back to me when it's done. In order to graduate from Independence High School, you must earn 22 specific credits. This includes four English, four math, three lab science, three social studies, one lifetime wellness, two of the same foreign language, one fine art, three credits in a focus area, and half credits in personal finance and PE. JROTC substitution is available for some requirements. This chart will be on the back of your registration form for your reference. This blank four-year plan will also be on the back of your registration form. Use this form to fill in previous credits earned, as well as future courses needed to graduate. If you have any questions about the courses you need to graduate, please see your counselor. The registration forms you will receive in Homeroom will look similar to these, varying by grade level. You will take your form to your teacher for each subject and get their recommendation. This is a required component of the registration process. Teachers will look at multiple data points to determine the best placement for you. If you have any questions or concerns about your recommendation, please speak with your teacher. Overrides will be available at a later date with a new override process. Remember, balance is very important when choosing your classes for next year. You may be recommended for multiple honors or AP courses. Consider your schedule as a whole, your extracurricular activities, family obligations, jobs, etc. We want you to be challenged appropriately, but not overwhelmed. Fill your sheet out completely. This includes elective courses, three alternates, and your parent guardian signature. You can only put six courses at IHS. You will not be able to choose dual enrollment or online classes at this time. If you need a seventh class to graduate, that can be adjusted when you meet with your counselor. Dude, are you kidding me? It's my schedule from last year. I can't turn this in. Guess what I have? What do you have, Colin? This ball of goodness. It was due last year, but it's my schedule. It's my schedule. We're kind of in the next school year already. It doesn't matter. I just went to classes. Like, I have freaking, like, standard ecology when I wanted, like, chemistry. Like, come on, please. It's kind of crinkled up. It's kind of not done. Please just and your it. parent hasn't even signed it. How can I take this? Dude, I'm taking AP English. Like, I'm not even, I don't even know who... Shakespeare is like, please just. You're take not me. about to be taking anything because you don't have to fill it out. Oh my god. So here you go. I'll put this back. How will this? <laughs> please just. I'll give it back. Oh. Come back to me with it done, please. Thank you. Bye, Mr. Mitchell. Have a good day. You too, Colin. 
make sure to choose six classes plus study hall and homeroom at IHS. Teacher recommendations are required for honors and AP level courses. If you plan on using a PE waiver for your .5 PE graduation requirement, be sure to get the form from the counseling office, have it signed by your coach and parent, and return it to your counselor. If you are a senior and have not turned in your waiver, you will be signed up for PE. All materials, including this video, will be posted on our Google Classroom code L3069SX. IHS counselors will be in the Media Center January 22nd through the 24th during all lunches for registration questions. Parents and students are welcome. You have until Friday, January 25th, 2019 to get all of your signatures and teacher recommendations. All right guys, it's registration time. So make sure you're getting your teacher recommendations. Need to try to have those by January 25th. That's a Friday. That's the day your online registration will begin. So try to have all that done by January 25th. You'll turn those into your study hall teachers on January the 27th, that Monday after you register. So first steps, how do I begin to register online? It's new this year. You're gonna log into your student Skyward account your student Skyward account, not your friends, yours. Then you're going to click on schedule, which is going to be on the left side of your drop down menu. Then you will see um, the re request courses for the 2019-20 school year. So that part will be over in the right hand side. You'll see your currently scheduled classes on the left and then course requests now open on the right. Once you see that, then you get to go in and start typing um, your class name, so if I want to look for English 4, then I'll start typing English and the different course requests will pop up. You'll click to the side to highlight that particular class and then add the course. If your course is a year-long course, you'll see both semesters pop up, so you'll make sure that you've added both your fall and your spring semester. If you only see one pop up, make sure you go back and look for that second semester course. Then. The next step, you'll need to make sure that you pick six courses, a study hall, and a homeroom. So you'll have eight listed there. When you look at the top, your total credits, your number eight step, will say that you need to have six total credits because your study hall and your homeroom do not count as credits, okay? So again, six courses plus your study hall and homeroom, and then it'll say six credits, total credits. Finally, remember, online registration is Friday, January 25th from 5 p.m. until Monday, January 27th at 7 a.m. If for some reason you don't see um, your particular class, just go ahead and enter what you do find, and then you guys can fix that once you meet with your um, counselor when they come around to your study halls. Mr. Mitchell, guess what I have for you? What do you have, Carla? The perfect schedule for my 12th grade year. Wow. Two With, weeks early? Yeah. It has my recommendations right there and my parent signature right there. Wow, it looks pretty good to me. Do you need to keep that? Uh, yes, I do. Okay. Is that all you need, Colin? Yeah, I was just really proud of myself. I wanted to turn it in two weeks early. Wow, you're an overachiever, right? Yep. Bye. I have to go to my class because I'm failing. Okay. 